Hello, this is Bali Nirmal. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe link below. This is my 2013 Kia Optima and my remote battery is dead because it does not open. I tried to open it. See, I tried to open it, it does not open. So what I do is it has a mechanical key. See, it has a mechanical key that will open the doors. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to insert the mechanical key and I, I'm just, I just open, I just open, it open all the doors, now I can, uh, the door is open, but the car, car will not start because the remote has, does not have battery, right? So I will show you how to start the car, okay? So I'm so... Also, sometimes the battery in the, in the car engine may also be dead. If that is the case, then your car will not start, even if uh, you do uh, the proper procedure. But at least you could open the, the doors. Uh, I can open the hood and uh, give a jump to the, to the, the battery and uh, make it live. But let me show you how to start the car if your, bat if your, your uh, remote battery is dead. Okay. So I am inside the car, and the, and the, of course the, the car will not start because because it says in the dashboard insert key, key not detected. Okay. So so the, so in the glove box I open the glove box. There is an opening there. See see there is an opening there. See this uh, see this uh, remote. I'm going to insert it in the. There is an opening here, there is a slot. So I just insert the, now once I insert it, now, see the car starts, right? So, so this is basically what it does, if you, once you insert the, the key, the chip in front, it contacts the, uh, the electronics in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in that hole. And you say, okay, he has the key, even though, the key was not detected because the, the remote battery was dead. So, so this is how it st started. Now, I can now I can take the uh, the remote. So you just press it, and the remote comes out. See, see this remote. And close the dashboard. Yeah, yeah. You you insert it uh, so that the uh, all the uh, all the buttons are facing you. Okay, facing you, and you just insert it like this. The front. In, in the thing, okay? Insert it like this, and uh, and that's it. Now, now that uh, the car is started, I can turn it off, okay? And uh, of course, next time I have to start it, I can put this key or the remote in the hole, start the car, drive somewhere, and then. I can leave. I can leave this uh, remote in there. Uh, once the is off, but I have to lock it. I have to lock the the, the doors with the mechanical key. If you don't lock it, lock it. Somebody can get in, and he can start the engine. Or I can just take it out and insert it when I need to start. Okay. So this is how it works. So there is one thing to remember. I had lots of hassle because we had put a decoration on top of this uh, this remote uh, so it covered the the back and the front of course it left the buttons uh, uh, you know alone but because of this decoration when i tried to insert this in the hole it did not fit in because the decoration made this thing big so if you have put a decoration on your uh, remote you have to remove it okay and removing it is very easy you, uh, you see this hole here, there is, a, there is a hole where the mechanical key goes and there is another hole here. Uh, you just insert a screwdriver in the, in the big hole and, and twist it. So this, the whole thing will open from the middle. The whole thing will open and uh, you can remove the decoration and, and then you start the engine. Hello friends. <clears throat> now that we know that uh, the battery in this remote is bad, is dead. 
uh, we have to remove the old battery and put a new one. I will show you how to do it. Okay. So we have a mechanical key here, so we remove this like this, and then uh, there is a hole here in which the key goes, and next to it is a little larger hole, not too deep. We put a screwdriver into this and we twist it. See, once we just twist it, 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 it starts to open up, okay? So once it opens up, we remove the, uh, the decorative cover from it, and then this one comes out like this. This one comes like this, out like this. And then this one here has, uh, this is the battery, okay? So we put a, a screwdriver uh, on this, and uh, when we removed it, remove it, okay? And then we get a new battery, we get a fresh battery that we just bought from uh, Walmart or CVS or any store, and then we insert it. How do we insert it? We put the, the side that has plus, the positive. See, this battery is CR2032 energizer. So we, we put the, the side that has plus, we put it, put it down, okay? And, uh, and we, we, we close it, we, we just, we just uh, press on it, it closes. And then we, uh, we take this cover, right? And we, uh, and we, we, we just put on top of it, and then we press on it. That's it. This one, basically, now the remote is a new battery, okay? Now I will show you how to uh, check whether the battery is good or bad. See, we, uh, we take out my multimeter, okay, and we turn it on, okay? And then the multimeter has two leads, plus and minus. So we take the battery, okay, let's take this battery, and we, uh, one side goes the other, other, other side, and then this one, and then the multimeter shows 3.07. That, that means it's a good battery, okay? Now, if the, uh, if the voltage was, was 3.0 or below, that means it's a bad battery for starting the, the car. The battery, the battery voltage, the battery voltage uh, is nominally 3.0 volts. So, so a very good battery will be something like 3.4. Uh, a bad battery is 3, 0.0 or below or even 3.01, 3.02 is bad. So you, the best thing is get a fresh battery. Don't use a battery that's lying around in your house or a battery that you bought a year ago and you, you just stored it in your house because over time the battery will degrade. So, so if you want to change the battery, go to CVS or Walmart or Home Depot and buy a fresh battery. CR2032 and use it. Okay? Hello. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe link below. Also, write your comments in the comment section below. Spread the word. You can share this video with your friends by clicking on the share button below. And you can share it with uh, WhatsApp, with Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and by sending email to your friends.